Alright, we're at the bonfire. Um, let's go ahead and head upstairs here. Whoa, lightning sword. That was awesome. Wow. Whoa, what? What just happened? Oh, I went up the wrong way. <laughs> See guys, this is how you learn from my mistakes. I've even done this area before and I make mistakes. We want to go downstairs. That's right. Down the stairs, up the ladder. Wait a minute, what's over here? Oh yeah, we can't pull the switch yet. Can't go through the door, so yeah, up the ladder. A really long ladder. this room those three will awaken at the same time so it's best to come over and kill these guys because they're only two at a time notice I drop down to fight them that's important because there's no running away so if you pull all of them you're gonna fight all of them just keep that in mind Make sure you kill at least one near the giant so he can turn the switch. Just die. Well, that lowered the elevator, but let's go through the door first. Go ahead and grab the chest. Nothing major. of primal knights. Luckily none of these ones come alive, but the one down there is. But before we deal with him, let's go deal with these frickin' archers. Kill the archers on both sides, there is treasure chests. I recommend standing behind a pillar. Ugh, can't hit anything right now. This is kind of the lazy man's way of killing them, but... Oh my gosh, I'm like... Acting like I'm retarded right now or something. Here we go. Ugh, gosh, my aim is so bad right now. Please, stop making me look bad, game. Take it! Ah, I I think it's the frickin' camera, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna blame camera. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, 
20 lightning spears later. Firestorm. Thank you, thank you. Writing my messages. Appreciate it. I think it heals you if you if they rate your message. I could be wrong though. Run away! Wow, didn't even get touched by that poison. What? Okay, never mind. After the cloud w dissipated, then I got hit. <sighs> it's all good. Lightning spear this guy right in the face. Wow. Surprisingly, very good. Whoa, my gosh. Did you see my health? That was awesome. Spear people. All right. Finish with this room. Let's move on. All right. One on one, this guy. They're kind of weak to lightning, so. In my case, makes them pretty easy. Um, before we go down there, actually, whoops, never mind. Oh, all right, I got confused. Oh shoot! I just got invaded. Ugh. Why am I getting invaded a lot all of a sudden? I don't even get it. This will make the uh, door leading back to the bonfire easy to get to. Remember this spot? Got my souls. All zero of them. And we're back in the bonfire room. But I can't use it because we're invaded by somebody. I'm not even sure where he is. <clears throat> there he is. Whoa. almost had him. Sorry, I wasn't talking. I literally forgot I was recording for a second. That's how into it I was. I was hoping the archers would actually kill him. Um, up here there's going to be a weird room. Uh, the key that you need is actually in the Shrine of Amana, which is the next area. So we'll come back to this place. Back to this place. You'll see what I mean. It's, it's pretty, pretty crazy, guys. Okay. 
that's not weird, I don't know what is, but you need the key of a mana to open that door. But, let's go ahead and grab this key, which will let us open another door. That one I couldn't get in before. King of King's Passage. Another fire seed. I think I'm maxed out, but maybe not. Another strong magic shield. I already have one of those, so. With that, we go back down. That's a really long elevator. <laughs> okay. All right. Before we go in there, I oops. Didn't mean to do that. I want to go back up here because I forgot to kill those Alon Knight Captains and I'm I, just bugging me. I feel like there's an item I forgot. So I'm going to go check it real quick. This video is getting kind of long so I might cut this part out. But I might not. Yep. See you guys. Um, where was it? It was, it was over here. through this area. Uh, yeah, up here. I wanted to go up here. Kill these guys. I don't see any items, so maybe I'll have to wait. But they do drop a lot of experience, so at least there's that. I wanna dude, I have a lightning sword plus ten. How come my sword does not have that effect? It's one thing that sucks about Dark Souls is no real weapon effects. Well, unless you put a magic on your weapon, but come on, if it's imbued it should have it. Let's just drop down, run back to the fire room. And uh, we're ready for the next boss. Well, that's pretty exciting. Let's reset the enemies before I get a train. Alright, this is another zone where you really want to be able to summon people to help you. Because this part is... Um, Kind of hard. Actually, I don't know. I could probably take him solo. Um, I've never tried, but uh, he didn't seem too hard. So let's make our way back toward the fog gate. We're going to be able to summon Ben Hart of Jugo, so at the very least I'll have him. Um, blood on the family tree, so to speak. As you're walking down this really creepy hallway. Some of these soldiers are gonna come to life. You'll know because they got red eyes glowing at you. Why am I fighting three at once? Explain yourselves. I was being lazy on that. Well, pretty much cleared all those guys out. That's one way to do it.
Come on, lower your shield, bro. Oh, what's up, Ben Hart? Hey, oh, hey, don't mind me. I'm just assassinating this guy. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up? All right, let's uh, double track because I think I missed a couple items behind behind the pillars. They do that on purpose. I think that's about it. All right. All right, so strategies for this boss. This is... Um, a unique boss fight because he has a shield it's the um, looking glass knight is his name he has a shield of glass so to speak and it will reflect spells so unless you hit it or basically you have to not hit the shield or it will be reflected you have to hit anywhere else on him so he's pretty much non-stop aggressive if you don't have Ben Hart he's gonna come at you non-stop the key is to dodge his attacks obviously time his attacks and then when you have an opening take it he does like to shoot the spell um, best times to attack him are really when you're behind him and he's shooting the spell in front of him so that being said I think we're ready to go okay wrong button didn't mean to drink that this guy is one of the coolest looking bosses, too. Ow, Benhart. I thought you were gonna get his attention, buddy. Benhart, you're not helping me at all. Well, okay, you are chipping away at him. Gosh, he gets me with that every time. He's got a similar attack pattern to the Pursuer. If you were good with him, he's not much harder to dodge. Cool thing about him, though, is you can actually get that shield he has. Um, once you kill him, you bring the soul to uh, Ornifex. And uh, you can either make a shield or a sword. And the shield legit actually does reflect spells. So, uh, he summoned the Dark Spirit. Just ignore the Dark Spirit and go straight for him. Dark Spirit goes away. Got him! First try, thanks to Ben Hart. Although he took forever to pick up the tanking duties. Um, before we go down the elevator, walk around it and grab the chest over here. Good job, guys. If you got this far, that means you just got through pretty much all of uh, Dranglet Castle. So, congrats. I really enjoy making this, these videos. I love this game. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's very hard, but at the same time very rewarding. Um, I just love Dark Souls, so thank you for watching. Let's uh, hit the next bonfire real quick. You know, I, uh, I really enjoy making these videos, like I said, and I, I'm surprised at how uh, fast um, I got 500 subscribers. I was fast when I got 100 subscribers and I know most of you are coming to me from wiki pages and um, that's cool and you know if you just come for one video and then you leave that's cool you know I'm just here to help people I'm not here to like try and make a ton of money or anything I mean I mean I do work full-time anyway but you know, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe, and, you know, once I'm done beating the game, I'm gonna do a little, so a few other videos within Dark Souls 2, but once I finish with Dark Souls 2, I'm gonna move on to the next game, and I'm just gonna keep doing different games, so, uh, if you 
want me to do a specific game, you can go ahead and uh, message me that. I might put a poll up or something. Um, seeing what game you guys want me to do next, but... Uh, my friend actually just bought me a copy of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen for the Xbox 360. He says it's one of his favorite games of all time. We have a pretty similar taste in games, so it looks awesome. It's still in the shrink wrap. I haven't even opened it. Uh, that being said, I'm probably just going to do a playthrough of that game and not a straight-up walkthrough because that would probably take forever. And you know, it's an older game, so I don't want to invest a ton of video time in that. But if you have a, a newer game that you'd like me to do a walkthrough, I mean, you know, let me know. You never know; I might just pick it. All right, guys. See you next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Thanks for watching.